What are you doing behind your desk? What are you doing behind your desk? Just <laughs> Woo! It's a busy day out here, boys. Oh, it's a busy Tom. day. It's perfect. That's my ear. Oh, was it gross? No, no. Oh my god. It wasn't. I promise you, it wasn't. If it was, I'd tell you. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Lots of things going on today, but we're going to be mainly focusing on the 370Z. Uh, we've noticed that we have a massive leak out of the last um, oil bolt, oil drain bolt. But I have a gritty oil pan on here, and the reason why I have an oil pan on here is because it's an enlarged oil pan. With 370Zs, especially drifting, these things overheat so quickly. Uh, oil temps and coolant temps skyrocket. And one thing that you can do once you've added coolers and you've added things to try to cool down the car is get an oil pan. Having more volume of fluid will give you a better opportunity and a better chance at cooling it down because there's more. So an enlarged oil pan is a necessity because also, we have an enlarged oil Also, those pans have baffling. They do have and any time that you can mitigate slosh, it makes it easier for your oil pickup. And they're lighter. <laughs> <laughs> and it says Gretty on it. Well, the Gretty one failed. The threads pulled out. And I don't know what happened. One day I came and I just undid this and it just spun forever. Or when I was hiding it, it spun forever. So we retapped it, ordered a new bolt, and it's leaking again and failing again. So this time around, I have a. Z1 Motorsports oil pan, which I think will be better. It was more expensive, so better mean it's better, right? <laughs> Speaking, what? It's more expensive. It's more expensive, so it better be better, right? <laughs> better be better. <laughs> Look at these. I know, the baffling's cool. Look at the baffling. So we're gonna go ahead and install that, and it's cool, because it came with um, gasket maker, which is really rad, so. I wanna let you guys know, additionally, that coming on uh, this upcoming Friday, June 23rd. Hey, Twan, would you mind coming here for a sec? We're gonna be releasing new things that are gonna count towards the giveaway. If you don't know, we're giving away our 400Z right now, and our full heritage collection went live not too long ago. This mic sucks, so I have to be a lot closer. Mm. But we're gonna be releasing new items. Two new t-shirts. Swan, you're literally gonna die oh, right shit. now. Oh shit, I did not. Literally. Sorry. Sorry. He's dumb. I didn't I'm see so you. I'm sorry. So sorry. Dude, I didn't see him. I don't know how you, I was like looking at I'm him. Now I'm locked on to film it. Two new t-shirts. We have the RX-7 and it's with like a 7-Eleven vibe under Daikoku. Slow Sundays, fast cars. We also have it with the Mark IV Supra. These t-shirts will be dropping on Friday and we're gonna be bringing back our most well-selling t-shirt we've ever done and that is the R34 in Japan, my Bayside Blue one, under the Daikoku Bridge. We're gonna be bringing that back. So all three of these are like all matching in the front with different back prints. And we're gonna be restocking our cargo pants, which we released last month. And you guys sold these out within the first 10 minutes. So we're gonna be bringing that back. All these items count towards the giveaway. So set your reminders for June 23rd. Martin, do you think I know things? Do you think I think ahead? Absolutely not. Does anyone know what language he's speaking? Scandinavian. <gasps> oh, duh. I don't know if you can edit these. I'm going to do this like a dad style again. So, Calvin's here. Is he going to delete these? I don't know why I'm even filming right now. So, just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding, dude. What else? What do you have to say about here? About about the window? No, I had to. <laughs> Why are you projecting? I wasn't even going to discuss the window. I was going to talk about what you were doing. The window is fine. Um, so this looks great. Did we update? Did we do an update on our new design? I don't know. This is even for the main channel. Okay. But oh, it's not. No. Yeah, whatever. Look at the camera in my hand. It's like a potato. I like it. I prefer it. It makes... Don't. I <laughs> don't, you fuck. Well, I don't know what video this is for, but since this is a street car, we want to have a lot of trunk space, so... We're transferring the load from the wing down to this point, which fixates on this, and... Do like a little dry run, and it feels great, so... We're gonna do it. We had big hopes to do really cool stands with plates so it could disperse the load onto the frame rails, etc. But then we discussed the whole, uh, I don't know, whatever, you know, the arm system, and then, oh yeah, that was it. This is like this weird box 
I was gonna sit in there like this guy goes. Like that. Horrible angle on my end. It's okay. But anyways, we talked about it, and this thing will probably see like, I don't know, 250, two or three hundred pounds of downforce uh, on the fastest he's ever gonna go in this car. So tying into the fa Stop it. The factory points, these boxes aren't gonna crush or crumple. So we'll probably just gus at this a little bit. I it's think this it's really back sturdy back. up in here. But oh yeah. Kinda like that, but well it. I'm kinda brain dead today, so yeah. sorry for the brain fog. But you're never gonna see this, which is sick as hell. Just a full GT wing, trunk open, swan necks and everything. Anyways, uh, I just want to come over here and say I'm pretty skeptical of the way that anything is assembled by anyone that sends anything. So, like that's even kind of bent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this hardware, lock tight it, and reinstall it. That way I know that it has been at least touched by someone here before it goes in the car, and then I can not lose sleep over it. I think the whole race car aesthetic of this car is really important, uh, but equally as important is the street car portion of it, like the full interior, etc. So it's kind of nice to 100% be able to open this trunk. And when you open it, like so, uh, you don't have anything intrusive in your trunk space. Like we were going to box this intersection in and have the stands go off to the side, batteries relocated, we had to cut the tub out for the diffuser, etc, etc. We were going to re-carpet it, but not having to have these stands or the quick release latches that we're going to have on the top to tie everything in and keep the real, I don't know, streetcar usable kind of Ferrari luggage in the front portion of it is, uh, what are you doing, huh? What's going on? Where? Do it? I don't know. Oh, I see this bolt this. push out the factory. It's this to this. Okay, yeah, I'll trim this down. Oh, okay, I see. Well, uh, point in case, this whole car is trial and error. We've done and redone things quite a few times, and it just is what it is. Um, but... Oh, wait, it's not. Oh my god, Kyle, you're making me look like a fucking idiot. Because it goes, it clears it by about a half inch. Ow! <laughs> Alright, let's do it real quick, so I can get back to that. Um, but yeah, this just aesthetically is pretty pleasing. It serves the same purpose, everything's tied in, multi-directional, so these can't flex, this can't flex. Ties all the load into these points. Uh, and then we're also going to, same thing I've just talked about, trial and error. Uh, have Kyle, thanks bud, silica bronze these back in, um, with this, call it a fail? this, no, I didn't say fail, I said trial and error. I wouldn't even call it an error. I never said error, I said trial. I think you did the right thing. Thanks bud. But, uh, we'll cut this black line out, and then what we're gonna do is make a square tub that recesses, so this can fit in the, the rain channel pocket, or rain, po whatever, I'm in brain dead. Uh, and then cut this bottom section out longer so it still has a drip direction. Uh, my original thought was treat it like a sunroof and do like a, a nipple and have a drip tray, but Kyle said just, oh yeah, we'll just angle it, cut it longer, and that'll kind of help all of the... kill me. Uh, last but not least, so they did have Loctite, it's awesome. They did the job, I love it. I'm still skeptical, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. Uh, this was a little bent, so I straightened that out. But, something I just wanted to note, you never know how something's sent to you, people do this with coilovers all the time, just nut and bolt everything, double check it, throw your Loctite on, uh, and then the way these flaps are directionally, it keeps as much of the oil capacity in the center where the pickup is, um, instead of, you know, these could have been backwards, etc. But I do like that it's rubber and not, I've seen a lot that are like bolt on flap, and all that does for me mentally is, tells me there's a lot more bolt. Falling out on me? This thing wants to keep fucking falling out on me. Well, you gotta put a battery in it first. Like oh, this? There it is. Yep. Oh, got it. Okay, now what? Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. Yep. Uh huh. Shit. Yeah. What do you think of what? I, what do you just, think was gonna happen? I just wanted to get it enough. Well, here, this will help. Fuck. It's not enough. It's right Dude, the God. It's gone. Don't worry, Daddy's got you. Thanks. Here, give me your gorilla grip on that. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> 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 you just asked the man for his gorilla. Ready? Yep. 
It's spinning. <laughs> it's just spinning. Did you even check and see? And no, it's just spinning. Threads are toasted. All right. Well. Never mind. Uh, we can just have Tyler throw a cack on that. Yeah, that'd be great. Calvin's cleaning up the mating surface of all their RTV they put over the years. That's one year. application. I That's put. years worth of RTV. I put on so when well, in these parts I put oh. a lot of bead. When oh, I asked to put on a bead, I laid my bead. A thick bead. Well, you guys heard it here first. I think he's talking about something else. <laughs> I think he's talking about things of sexual nature. Oh, okay. Look, I was gonna go there. Uh, I'm gonna put my coffee out of the way. God, this table is so. Oh my God! I would hope so. Dude. Can you actually? Okay. Anyways, just to finish this up, they did put Loctite on it. I'm gonna end my life. Anyways, evidence of the Loctite. It's there. I'm proud of them. I'm happy. Make sure these go the right direction. I'm gonna air this out. I'm gonna put the bolts back in, and then we're gonna reinstall it. This is gonna be really hard with one hand, um, but my prescribed method for line fasteners, or you know, a, a bottomed hole that's not a through hole, is to apply the thread locker of your choice to the threads on the inside, and then. Huh? Yeah, you ready? Oh my god. Oh shit! Dog. And then Thanks on the bolt. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, look, just, just Loctite it. What happens is when you put Loctite on the threads and the bolt itself on a blind fastener, you're kind of like a piston plunging the air or whatever is in this blind hole out. And so if you just put Loctite and are you listening? You did or one. Like I'm what, what'd you do? In what'd you do in it? I put both. You pissed in it. I peed in it. I will, it, dude, I will pee in this right now if you keep this up. I'm keeping it up, I'm keeping it up, I'm keeping it up. Hey, hey, just so <laughs> everybody good. knows, he didn't need to unzip. He didn't need to do that in order to do the, the bit. He could have done it without unzipping. I'm just saying. Comment down below if the auditory edition of the zip really helped the joke. Did you fix your underwear? My underwear is brand new, but my pants are still ripped. This is going to be a long clips video for no reason. <laughs> because we're both idiots. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh -oh. Alright, I'm dumb too. <laughs> Calvin just asked me if this has ever failed on me before or anything like this. I had a Greddy pan on an old SR20 probably 10 years ago and the baffle was metallic and had bolts and one of them left and grenaded my motor. So. Ay -ay -ay -ay. So anyways, uh, very sorry for how chaotic the last five minutes of this video was. One thing I just wanted to point out. All for four <laughs> bowls. Uh, well, if Calvin doesn't show up tomorrow, you know what happened. Yeah. Murder. I got pregnant. Okay. Uh, if you have a task at hand and it's simple enough for you to finish in a few hours or a day, do it. Do it, finish it before you do something else because you'll forget. You'll not remember where you left off, what you did and didn't do. So now the pan is good and ready for Calvin to install. Gee, thanks, Dad. Oh, welcome, son. What? What was that face? What? What face? You I saw was gonna him? make a Kyle joke about being insecure. No, of the other side. When you do the. It's weird having someone else come up to you with the camera that's rolling. I do that to you guys all the time. Whoa. Yeah, you like that? Like in double team with me and my boy? Foot five. Now I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Now it's yeah, you like now it's Eiffel Tower vibe. Okay, okay, that's not what I was going for at all. Yeah, it, was. it was. It's exactly what I was going for. Is it on? Is it on? No. Is it on yet? Yeah, just you say your lines. Say your lines. Hi, I'm I'm TJ Hunt. This is my car. It says Nissan Z. I really like them. That was tough for me to nice, say. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, I just you know spray parts clean it. Brakes, brakes parts. Yeah, brakes parts. So as much as I was here on the cars, is brakes parts cleaner. You just clean the whole thing, and then you just take gasket remover. Oh, oh my god! Look at that! Oh my god! Look at it. I could have. What's that gouge from? Is that from you? Previously? No. I bet. Previously on. 
and then you make sure that it's clean, and then you, and then you break parts, clean it again. Uh, there's so much oil. <laughs> Maybe you're an oil pan. Ugh. Oh, dude, why is it? Stop trying to gaslight me. Stop trying to tell me that I'm wrong because I'm not wrong. It's the right way. Uh, real quick, before you put it in backwards, uh, the pickup is at the back of the pan, and this pickup hole is at the what side of the pan? Ah, crazy. You just go ahead and... There it is. Yep. I'm not going to say you're wrong. I'm going to say I was right. Ah. Perfect. Nice. Hell yeah. Great job. I like the bead, too. Oh, I'm missing a little bead. Oh my god. Where? Right where? Right there. You see right there? Where? Right there. Oh, where it's raised? Yeah. Well, as soon as you touch it to that, it's going to... Okay, all right. Great? I think so. All right, okay. I'm not a doctor, but... All right, okay. Okay, oh. Oh. Oh, did you want, oh, did you want help? Is that oh, here? I can stop. Oh, okay, I'll stop filming. And since all of these holes are open-ended, I'm just going to drop the light tight. Oh, where am I filming? Right there. <laughs> Do you want me to film me doing it? Yeah, I thought you was Drop a few drops down there. Drop a few drops down there. Then that way, Calvin can thread in all the bolts and hold it up and hold it down for me and the boys. <laughs> you know, uh, for the boys. Dude, I love when you, uh... Oh, okay, that's... That's... Got it, okay. When you close it, and it goes... <laughs> Anthony's watching his on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I'm changing the oil. Kava made a really good ad. Damn, this is a sick ass looking oil pan. Not sponsored. It is really nice. It's uh, heavy duty too. Yeah. It uh. Oh, where's the other one? It's in the trash. Oh. Oh. Yep. I don't know. I want to see the bath is on it. I'm pretty used to this. It's not in here though. You wouldn't stop shit. Yeah. I don't know. Here, hold this for a moment. I know exactly where it is. No, 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 Yep, okay, good view. This is, I'm so scared right now. <gasps> okay, all right. Hurry up. Uh, no, I got it, uh, Valvoline, VR1, 1030, thank you, Valvoline. Woo, woo. Oh, you're gonna grab it. No, it's just, what the shit? Ah! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck are you doing? What is wrong with you? Oops. Oops. Right, nothing happened. Sorry, nothing happened. Young, dumb, full of. Hey, don't watch too. Oh, <laughs> uh, come to on. The ruckus was out here. From the shitter? Yeah. Well, I was blowing my nose. I wasn't taking a shit. Yeah, Liar. whatever. He was blowing ass. <laughs> I'm gonna blow my nose. <laughs> liar, liar, pants for Look at these OEM Nissan filters. Dang, that's nice. I used to order Fram. <coughs> you know what's good? Sure. No, you know what's uh, good? It. Mobile. Fram's not bad. Oh, I can't see that. Oh. I can't say that. Hand tight. No, you can't. I can't say. I can't. Wait, hey, just... you can't let them know that we're filming. I'm always like, TJ, this car sounds like one giant exhaust leak. It's because it is. Consistently. I can't tell me. I can't even say how many times we've fixed this. Twice oh, inside the it. Oh, I'm threading it back. There it is. I need to find a. Well, there's no nut on it. Wait. The one no of nut. one of them started. Oh. Well, I think this one could be threaded, but we definitely should put a nut on hey, it. Hey, Dylan, come here. Come, come, check this, come check this out. Look at this one. You're gonna point this out. You're gonna point this out. Hold on. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, Twan. Nice. Okay, let me just follow this back. Okay. I wonder why. <laughs> I I fucking really wonder. What's wrong with well, this? Well, there's nothing wrong with this except like you know. Oh, I forgot. This the is rear was like that. Completely yeah. Completely not connected. At it's all. because the exhaust is supposed to be to here, and then it got pushed back like a snake, and then it bent this and broke the other bulb. Bulbers driving it is probably really giving it the beans. I, I agree. So it's like winning comps, getting podiums or some shit. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, there's a plastic factory provision that sets the trunk height and allows the trunk to set against the latch to keep it taut on the chassis. Kyle made aftermarket bungs for metal bolts and then we'll put a rubber cap on it so it still has some room for squish. But this way, all of that load from the oh, wing will be here and on the factory brackets. Here's the stuff. Factory. Now where's the other one? Where's the other 
Uh, God damn it, dude. I tried so hard to lace you up right now. But yeah, anyways. These potentially with that extra load might fail over time. So we're just going to make a sturdier version of that. Or Kyle already did. And it's tied into the actual wing plate. And on today's episode of Inside Calvin's Asshole. Whoa. Very clean. With the sun. <laughs> We're driving home from the shop and I saw this vet in traffic. And I was staring at him I'm like, wait a minute. I think I know that license plate. He has a stack chips by whips, hunt co license plate. That is so rad. I rolled up to him and said what's up. He saw me from, from a few cars back. It's always so wild seeing your guys' is cars with plates on it. Especially when I see it in the wild. Because I think to myself, out of the hundreds of thousands of cars that exist in this area, I roll up on that and see that. 